It's Friday, February 9th, 2024. I'm Allie. And I'm London. The, the Wolf View begins now. Why no, baby? Sign-ups are happening now for the White Knoll High School Relay for Life team. We raise money and awareness for the American Cancer Society. And we walk to help fight cancer. The event is Friday night, May 3rd from 6 to 11 p.m. To join the team, same as Hobbs in room 219, there is a $5 registration fee that goes towards the team's fundraising. National Honor Society is doing a canned food drive for the SEA Place for the month of February. Every five cans donated equals one hour of community service. All proceeds will benefit SEA Place, a youth leadership program that offers support, education, and advertisement to empower our community. All cans can be brought to room 141. Ta-da! White Knoll High School's Drama Club beats weekly after school on Monday until 5 p.m. in room P110. The Black Box Theater Classroom in the Pack, entrance near the 200 Hall. Each week, we have student-led theater activities open to any current White Knoll High School student. No experience was needed, only an interest in participating in activities with other enthusiastic students. FCA meets each Tuesday morning in the small gym from 7.30 to 8.30. You can show up at any time between these times for open gym, breakfast, and so much more. We hope to see you there. Everyone is welcome. Now, now it's time, time for the proper flop. 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 Last week's pop or flop was Can't Get Enough of Your Love by Barry White. It was rated a bop by 80% of you. This week's bop or flop is in honor of an amazing performance from the Grammys. You've likely heard Luke Combs' version of Fast Car, but the song was originally written and released in 1988 by Tracy Chapman. Let's check it out. You get a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere Maybe we make a deal Maybe together we can get somewhere Any place is better Starting from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we'll make something Me, myself, I got nothing to prove I think it's a flop. I think it's a flop. Now let us know if you think it's a pop or flop by going to the WKHS Wolf View on Instagram and voting in the poll on our story. And now it's time for sports. It was an awesome day Saturday for our Timberwolf Archers at the Panda Challenge at East Point Academy. We each had a season high team score. Season high team score of 3,308, which took first place over Lou Golf Elgin, who had a 3,245, 3, and Gilbert, who was third with a 3,167. Our ladies were led by Scarlett Watson, who placed first with a 283, and Kylie Boynton, who was fifth with a 279. The guys dominated the top five, taking four out of five positions. Tyler Riston took first place with a 289. I'm saying that again. Our ladies were led by Scarlett Watson, who placed first with a 283, and Kylie Boynton, who placed fifth with a 279. The guys dominated the top five, taking four out of five positions. Tyler Riston took first place with a 285. Nolan Garner was third with a 283. Trey Williams was fourth with a 282, and Dylan Garifano was fifth with a 279. Congratulations to Tyler Winston, Trey Williams, and Haley Rodriguez for also scoring a perfect score of 50 in a 10 meter round, and Trey Williams also had a 50 at 15 meters. The boys' JV and varsity soccer teams both got wins against Swansea in their scrimmages on Tuesday. Tonight, the varsity baseball team travels to Brooklyn Casey for a scrimmage at 5.30, and the varsity softball travels to Blackwood for a scrimmage at 6. For a preview of next week, the JV baseball teams are away on Wednesday, and the varsity baseball team is at home on Thursday. As you know, February is Black History Month. We're going to take some time 
each day this month to recognize and learn about influential black individuals from South Carolina. Robert Smalls was an American politician, publisher, businessman, and maritime pilot. Born into slavery in Beaufort, South Carolina, he freed himself, his crew, and their families during the American Civil War by commandeering a Confederate transport ship in Charleston Harbor on May 13, 1862, and sailing it from the Confederate-controlled waters of the harbor to the U.S. blockade that surrounded it. He then piloted the ship to the Union-controlled Beaufort Port Royal Hilton head area, where it became a Union warship. His example and persuasion helped convince President Abraham Lincoln to accept African-American soldiers into the Union Army. Benny Lee Cunningham Jr. was the first black athlete to receive Clemson University's Frank Howard Award. He was, also, he was chosen in the first round of the NFL draft by the Pittsburgh Steelers, where he played in two Super Bowls. He eventually returned to Clemson to earn his master's degree. So let's hear from some folks about their thoughts and plans for the Super Bowl. The Chiefs, because they're my favorite team. Rasheem Rice, because he shows up when nobody else does. I really want the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl because I like Mahomes and that's my favorite team. Mahomes is my favorite player because he can do stuff that other QBs can't on the field. The Chiefs. Travis Kelsey, because he's a really good football player and also he's cute. 49ers going to win the Super Bowl because they're the best team. And the best player on the team is Trent Williams because he's the best O-lineman in the NFL. So everybody that knows me knows I'm a huge football fan. I think the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl. My favorite is, of course, Brock Purdy. He's going to do great out there. That's the Wolf View for today. Have, Have a great day, day and go T-Wolves!